Hello friends. It's an honor once again to welcome you back to Rick's Garage. I have a short little video here today in response to a question I received in my comment section. About a year ago I posted a video on what to do if you have a wheel lock up, how to get home. And the simple answer to that was turn off your traction control if you're so equipped. What will happen if you have one wheel locked up? The traction control will sense your good wheel spinning. It will lock that wheel up in an effort to transfer the power to the wheel that's not spinning, which is locked up because of the problem. So the result of that is your truck will not move. So the simple answer is to turn off your traction control and then you can drag the wheel home. It may overheat, but at least you'll get home. Well, at that time, I promised a video on the repair once I found out what the problem was. I never fulfilled that promise, and I apologize for that. What I actually found the problem to be is the actuator on one side of the vehicle. This actuator attaches to your emergency brake cable and then forces the shoes up against the drum to activate the emergency brake. Well, this actuator, I've got a picture of them here, it froze solid. Now, the only way to get at these actuators is to remove the brake shoes and hardware. The problem is, as you see here, the hub is so large that it limits access to the shoes and the hardware, making it a very difficult job. So I actually started out filming this replacement in an effort to maintain my good family rating with YouTube. Plus, I could not get a real good camera angle in there, so I wound up abandoning the filming of it, and it was three days of total misery, cursing, and jammed fingers before I got the job done. So that is why I did not fulfill my promise to film this job. Now, if you do need to do this job, there is an excellent video out there put out by 1A Auto. I'll leave a link in the description. But let me caution you, the job is not as easy as they make it look. So just bear that in mind. Now, the 1A Auto video uh, says it's for a, I think, an 07 to 010. And my truck was an 011, but it was exactly the same. The only difference being in the video is the their truck had leaf springs and my truck has coil springs. But the springs had nothing to do with it. The actual replacement of the shoes and hardware were exactly the same. They did not cover replacing the actuators, but once you get the shoes and hardware out of the way, you will see the actuators and you'll have access to them and you can replace them. Now I put new ones on, but you may be able to just take some WD-40 and work them back and forth and put the old ones back on. So that's all I've got here today. I wanna thank you once again for watching Rick's Garage. And before I go, I'll post that actual video that I posted a year ago on what to do if your emergency brake locks up. And I'll hopefully post something else of interest. Feel free to click on them. To your right will be a picture of my trusty German Shepherd, my avatar. Feel free to click on that if you wish to subscribe. So uh, I'll leave you with this thought that don't attempt this job if you, unless you're really, really handy with tools. So thanks for watching, and we hope to see you again very, very soon.